show guys what is up it's teach here coming at you again with another video and we are on the hunted mod review series um this is kind of an update i know i've been a little bit i've had some stuff in real life all oh, everything's fine my wife had a birthday some fun stuff like that so i've been off for a few days um but now that we're back on i'll kind of show you what we're working on uh, my brother and i are really getting ready for pvp um yeah, that's kind of, you know, the big thing that we're working on at this moment in time. Nothing super special, but uh, we do have a bunch of big advancements, which is really nice. Uh, I made a bunch of recipes, and recipes are probably one of the most useful things in this game if you haven't used them before. Uh, so, yeah, make sure you keep that in mind. Oh, I just used a mind wipe. I was like, why can't I move? Uh, let's go ahead and get that up there. Let's put this at, I don't know, 350? That seems like a reasonable number. Uh, weight is very important. Crank that up to like 300 should be all right for now. And then move speed. A lot of move speed. Yes, all of that move speed. And that should be good. Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and have myself a meat sandwich and some perp drank. And then we're off. All right, so you can see that we've got a couple adjustments we got a grinder a uh, chem bench some lovely turrets uh, we got a pvp box ready and going i'm not going to show you that yet but we started it um i have another mutation weekend going on right now so we have a bunch of mutated eggs that i'm ready to pop so i figure we can start off with some of that fun stuff wait no you can't find the parents in range Ooh, hello uh yes i will take that some of these apparently don't want to mutate at all, but I'll take it. It works. It exists. Um, these Triceratops, I don't know what's going on with them, but um, whatever. It's They exist. Level 17. Okay. Let's go ahead and get all these out then so we don't have to worry about, you know, I don't know, that kind of stuff. And again, because of the mods we have, it'll pick those up automatically so I don't need to worry about them. Ooh, hello, Wooly Rhino of level 30. Yes, please. Ooh, 32. Sometimes you get lucky. I gotta get some of these in my favorite color here. Because, obvious. Ooh, 32 again. Let's look at these eggs. What, what is the good one? Right, so we've got 6 health, 6, and then 4. 6, 4, 6. 6, 4, 4. Ooh, hello. That's a lot of health on you. But, let's see what this is. Let's see what the colors we got. Yellow. Why can't I have, like, a green? Uh, medium turquoise. That'll do. That'll do. I guess I could go bright yellow. That'd be kind of fun. If you haven't seen this mod before, it's a lot of fun. You can kind of choose the colors that you want. And, uh, you get lucky sometimes. Uh, that's a high-level RG. Goodness gracious. Uh, Carnos. So, my brother and I have kind of split up some of the stuff right now. Um, he's doing the other half of the creatures that you don't see in these things right now and I'm doing obviously the ones you see so ooh, what was this did I see yes I did our Carnos are getting pretty good actually so are our Pteranodons level 38 is not bad uh, for those of you that are wondering yes you do everything started at level 1 so level 38 is very 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 nice um, you can't really complain about that um, ooh, hello and I think that's about as high as we're going to get for them. Maybe? I'm not sure. We'll see. I think we have a 38, and that's kind of our best one. I'm hoping that we get a male. Oh, a level 40. Why, hello. What color? Oh, and it's green. wonder if I can, like, do different layers of green on it to make it look. Oh, there's, like, cyan, cantaloupe. This is a cool-looking one. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and save that. That looks cool. All right. Some level 30 carbos. Level 6 health on them. Can I get any no health mutations on any of these carbos? Like, just a little bit. That's all I'm asking for, game. Please. Just a little bit of health. No health mutations on any of them? Ugh, that sucks. That really sucks. All right, well. Oh, well. Let's go ahead and get all these eggs. And we'll hatch them all. And I'll go ahead and let that exist. That's a lot of eggs, actually. Holy smokes. And let's see what's in here. All right, so you got some blood stalkers. We're gonna make that the best egg. It's already the best egg. So is that one? So we're gonna go ahead and transfer them. Ooh, Tapiara. Hello. Oh, and the most important eggs, obviously, because I'm gonna have my battle dodos up and running here soon. Um, that's level 22. Where are my good dodos? Are those are those really my good dodos? Ah, whatever. 
All right, so sometimes those get good good stuff out of them. Uh, well, we're gonna go ahead and pop all of this, and I'll show you what it looks like. See, this is the kind of stuff that mod like mods just make so much better in Ark. Uh oh, uh oh. Did I not pick it up? Um, are you gonna pick that up, please? Uh, fine, whatever. I will just do it myself. Um, it just makes it easier, so you don't have to, you know, try nearly as hard. It's a lot of fun. All right, so an Argentavis. This one, I guess, is going to be mine. Let's go ahead and get this Bloodstalker out. I'm going to put him near the other ones, just because, you know, Bloodstalkers, they're great and all. All right, Carbonemus. Yes, you can go there. Turtle, right there. Ooh, we got some pretty colors on these. Look at that red. Ooh, hello. Purple. All right. What do we have here? Trike. Okay. What else? Trike female. Ooh, we got another female. Thank goodness. Trike male. Trike male. All right. Now we're ready to raid. Ooh, let's see these rhino. Oh, that's the yellow rhino that I just made. All right. Oh, green feet. Hello. Hello. Ooh, that's a cool color. Look at that. that white and black coloring. That's sick. I don't know what this was. Oh, it's still a rhino. Quetzal. Okay. This should not... Okay. I guess I'll just use it. Why not? Oh, that's a cool color. Ooh, lots of Quetzals, huh? Oh, look at that Pteranodon. That's so sick. Oh, that is super cool. That is a funky looking Pteranodon. All right, Pteranodon again. Oh my goodness, another owl too. Oh, that's a cool looking Argo owl, actually. All right, now we're gonna have to go ahead and get everything fed here. Oh my goodness, and down the line we go. All of the things. Another Carno. Oh, pink. It's pink. Yes. I'm going to be using the pink and green. Wow. Okay. We're still going. I didn't realize I popped this much. Okay, we're good now. All right. So you can see we got a few babies raising now. A couple mutations. Not going to complain about that. Uh, let's go ahead and put that back in there. Let's go ahead and get that up and running. Let's check out here. Okay, we've got some of that. I'm gonna need some berries and some meat. All right, meat. Uh, yeah, that's important to have. Oh my goodness, something is on the other side over there. We're gonna get a little extra meat over here. And I'll get some berries as well going, just because that's important to have. All right, I gotta get some health up and running too, because I am hurting right now. Let's go ahead and get a couple of pieces of prime meat because I know this increases my health quite a bit. Um, berries. That's what I was doing. I was like, what am I doing right now? One, two, three. So I have a bunch of berry plants growing and these things grow at a crazy rate. I'm trying to convince people that on like official servers, you need to just have a bunch of berry farms and that way you never actually need to go harvest any berries. You'll never leave the safety of your base. It's the easiest thing in the world. I mean, you can come back with like 6,000, 8,000 berries an hour. That's a lot. That's a lot of berries, in my opinion at least. All right, so let's go ahead and snack on that. Snack on another one of these things. Start increasing that health slowly. But it's working. And we'll drop these berries in here. And I'm sure they're just going to go, phew, gone. Uh, yeah, there they go already. Hello. Look at that. They're just flying down. All right. We'll grab some more real quick. And then we're going to do some armor adjustments. I really, 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 really want to do some armor adjustments. Um, yeah, okay. I do need some raw fish meat, that's for sure. Because apparently, no one's feeding anything, brother. All right, I bet you this just flies. Yep, okay, we're gonna need some more raw fish meat. Goodness gracious. Okay, going to grab some. Here we go, here we go, come on. All right, so also, fun fact, I'm probably gonna do a face reveal sometime tomorrow with a video kind of talking about, you know, who I am, what I want for my channel, all that kind of stuff. So make sure you tune into that. Oh my goodness, I already went through three stacks? Come on now. Ugh, so much. Okay. Uh, that's what 450 meat I hope that's enough that's enough to sate the hunger of the pteranodons we'll see maybe not all right so I'm gonna need some raw meat for the blood stalkers because they are a little bit persnickety um, same thing with the uh, what are they called the little guys 
Little tiny things. Feather lights, yeah. They won't survive unless I get them some raw meat. So I need to do that, like, ASAP. No, you don't, you're not able to carry it yet? Okay. There. That'll work. How much does it count? Does it not count for food for you? No, it doesn't. You don't eat cooked meat? Oh, you turd knocker. I guess I'm going to have to actually give them blood. Not fun. Not cool. Not cool. Not cool. All right, feather light. You will not survive unless I get you some stuff. So I'll have to get some blood here in a little bit. I'll do that, but it, they're, they should be good for a little bit. So I'll let them hang for right now. And I'll do that when you guys don't have to watch because that's just endless body holding again. All right, so it cost us just about everything we have. But we have started getting some blueprints. Yes. Yes. Uh, they're expensive, though. They take a lot. Like, I mean, I guess this is the, probably the most reasonable one we have. I'll be using that like there's no tomorrow. Um, but I was going to show you guys some uh, BPs and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get some of that going because why not, right? Uh, metal. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, split that in half because I'm not going to be able to carry all that. We'll grab some stuff and we'll make some sweet metal armor. Uh, I think I sh Is there enough fiber? There should be. There should be. All right, let's go ahead and get some flak up and running then. Yes, I will. I will spend the engrams to make this flak. Oh man, I didn't realize how expensive that was. All right, so armor, metal, one, two, three, four, five. All right, now we're just waiting on that to go. Um, then we'll basically put it in this upgrade station. And you can see that we've been cruising through this stuff. We got some augments to put in there. Yeah, some damage. Um, I'm going to make some sweet armor. One, two, three, four, four. And fifth is on its way. Um, so we're basically gearing up for PvP. So that's uh, that's that's the goal. We'll see. Um, and there's that. There's all of our pieces right now. One, two, three, four, five. And let's see if we can actually, let's augment it first. Because I think that's a good way to go about it. Alright, so. Um, where is it? So we want water reagent. I don't know if I can actually, uh, can I right click? Can I like somehow augment that only? Um, I wonder if I pull the other augments. I don't really know how to... I made all this stuff, and I don't know how to augment it. Let's see here. Can I... Will the water... Will it take the water? Hey, hey it did. All right. So, we're going to go ahead and specify that then. Um, and there's a... I don't know if it's going to show on it, maybe, but we'll see. So, durability. We're going to put some cold on it, some cold reagent. We're going to put... I think we have 10, so I'm going to put... Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. So check this out. So I can make it so my flak is more hypo and hyperthermic. So we're going to try putting this on ahead of time and then we'll put the heat one on afterwards. Yes, this is awesome. And now let's put some... Actually, let's just upgrade this to the most of our ability. And then we'll just like load up the augments at the end. I think that might be the, the way to smack this stuff. All right. And attempt an upgrade. What do we get? 266. Six. That's good. 387. 543. 709. This is actually really good. Sweet. 818 and 1000. I'll take that all freaking day. 372. 451. 649. Look at that. All right. So. This is going to be some sick armor. This is going to be nasty, nasty armor. All right, six, nine, seven. We got to make these into blueprints. So that's what we're going to do. As soon as we upgrade this stuff, we're going to turn it into blueprints so we can actually just recraft it and get even better. All right, this is going to be sick. All right, max level armor on its way. What do I need? Ingot? I can do that. Uh, did I have ingot in this one? A little bit. How much is it going to take? That's the question. Am I going to be able to upgrade it with... Um, maybe. We'll see. I'm going to probably have to go grab some more. Yeah, I'm going to have to grab some more. All right. Um, let's just do this the slow way. Watcha! Launching it. And we'll 
we'll launch it this way. Watch out! Where is it gonna land? Right about here. Ah, oh, we're so close. Watch out! All right. And let's toss it in there. By the way, just in case anything dies when we're doing this, let's go and whistle passive. All right, come on, give me some good upgrades. Oh, I got a double. I got a double upgrade. Look at the durability, 2037? Oh my goodness. Okay, yes please. Now let's go ahead and augment this stuff, huh? All right, four, five. And what do we want, some heat reagent? Yeah, let's put some heat reagent on these things. Augment. Oh, look at that. Okay. Four, five each? Does that sound, sound good? This is gonna probably be the most expensive armor I've ever made. He failed. Oh, it can't increase it any higher, I see, okay. So that's pretty sweet. So I've, I have increased it to max. What does that mean? Hyperthermic, okay, is negative seven. So, we'll see how this works. Negative four. So I've dropped it by quite a bit. I'll take that. So what else do I need? I have durability, damage, armor reagent. Can I increase the armor on it? That's the question. Wow. Wow. Wow, it goes up 60 a pop? Okay. Okay, let's get up to 1100. Yeah, that's insane. This armor is going to be so expensive, but it's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth every ounce every every single time it's gonna be worth it let's just get them up to a thousand each I guess because then I can make a crafting character with a mind wipe and I bet you we can get some crazy numbers out of this oh my goodness okay we're over a thousand on those three pieces oh man this is I mean I know how much this costs I know how much how long it took us to get all this stuff so it like hurts to watch all this resource just like fly away but I think it's going to be well worth it. Do Ichthys breed two times, nothing happens. I don't know. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. Maybe there's a special way to breed them. I don't know. Also, there's a huge mod update today for the hunted, so i got to figure out how that works. Okay, 1,000. Is that, like, max for that? Nope, that's not max for that. Let's just go ahead and crank up the armor even more because we have some extra reagents. Let's use them. Boom. I think the chest piece... It's pretty important. So are legs. People have a tendency to shoot legs. Let's get the armor on the headpiece. All right, now let's go ahead and get some durability reagent. This stuff is going to be insane. Oh, it can't go any higher. Okay, that can go higher though. So let's go ahead and increase the ones that can go higher because why not? Oh man, this is going to be maxed out armor and it's going to be so sick. Two, three. Or, I mean, it's well worth it because these little reagents are expensive, but if you think about it, you have some crazy, crazy stuff that you're going to have access to. I mean, look at 1300 durability already, 1296, 1197, 2037. That one we got lucky with. I don't think we're going to be able to get these up to 2037, but we're going to try. We're certainly going to try. Um, I mean, we're going to be really close actually now that I look at it. The durability on this stuff's gonna be amazing. We are actually gonna be able to survive. Come on. We're just gonna like switch them off between all of these because I don't think we're gonna be able to hit cap. But we're gonna try. We're gonna have some pretty sweet armor no matter what. I wonder how expensive it's gonna be. That's the biggest concern that I have right now, just because just to make this stuff, like the durability and stuff reagents, that was rough. All right, heat reagent. Now we're out of reagents. That that's that costs us a lot. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this into some blueprints. All right, create blueprint. Oh man, look at that. That is not expensive at all. Yes, look at that go. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. This costs literally nothing. Okay, that that one's a little expensive. But, I mean, we could make so much of this. That's going to be so sick. Okay, I'm not going to make it right now. I need to create a crafting character, obviously. But look at that armor. Oh, that's amazing. Now, as for the Argentavis that was around here somewhere. Where'd you go? All right, I have some arrows that I need to have because I need to get some raw meat for my Bloodstalkers. So, let's go on a quick Bloodstalker hunting mission. 
or any, I guess, just hunting mission where I can get myself some, uh, where, oh, where is anything? Oh, that's a wreck. That's a giga. That, that's a giga. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stay away from the giga because no, thank you. Are those RGs flying towards me? I think they are. Did I hit him? Oh, gotcha, buddy. Gotcha. What you got? Yeah, run. Run. I don't know how much health that Giganotosaurus has, but I'm not going to go play with it. Are you running now? Chicken. You chicken. 640. Are you eating that thing? What are you doing, Giga? Okay. There. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab some raw meat off this thing before... Uh oh, uh oh, drop, 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 drop. I need to be able to run. Okay. Oh, little baby juvenile thingy. Uh oh, uh oh. And we're on. Come on, let's go. Let's go. And we got the meat that we needed. That's all I wanted. Let's go. Come on, faster, please, faster, please. I have to replace those plants. What killed them? No idea what got those plants, but oh well. Come on, let's go. Uh oh. And I'm tired. And. Alright, so let's see if I can figure out. I need to get the blood stalkers. Alright, let's go ahead and grab some water and food. Um, These guys. These guys are gonna need some. I bet you they can have a prime meat, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you like prime meat. You were almost out of food, too, so it's a good thing that I checked. Um, did you have a little bit of food, or did I need to feed you as well? No, you have a little bit left. Okay. Sweet. Alright, so those things are saved now. Featherlights are a pain in the butt to raise for some reason. Uh, let me... There we go. They're so hard to hit with the access point. What? How much can you hold? Okay, there we go. Alright, now Bloodstalkers. Raw meat. I brought it. I brought you the raw meat. Okay. Please, please eat the raw meat. Yes. Okay. You eat the raw meat. Thank goodness. That would have been frustrating if I did all this work and you wouldn't even eat it. How much do you go up food-wise per bite? So you go up 10 per bite? Great. That's almost none. So I'm going to have to get a bunch more. Yay! Bloodstalkers. So much fun to raise. Alright, so I guess I'll go get that stuff. But we have some Bloodstalkers, so that's... I guess we can't complain. Because, you know, it's better than not having Bloodstalkers. 13, 17, they're, they're carrying enough to survive now. Alright, well, as for the Pteranodons, we're going to have to probably feed them just a touch as well. Because they do not like being raised without fish meat. So, um, there we go. Oh my goodness, look at all of the cruising through that meat. Alright, well, anyways, that's kind of the episode to give you guys an update. I'll keep you updated. We're going to do some PvP pretty soon, I think. we got some other tribes that are ready to go. So we're getting pretty stoked for that. But uh, all them babies, super armor was just made, so that's pretty sweet. And uh, kind of going from there. Alright, teach out.